Greetings and welcome to this all new Trapco Tao session. Today we're gonna look at how to create this uh, voxel style look on our logo or any uh, text or any kind of uh, vector shape that we can think of and um, we're gonna simply uh, animate that with the least amount of frames as possible so uh, it loops. So let's get right ahead in After Effects and uh, let's uh, get back to the beginning here. I just have my logo here imported as if an Illustrator file so I can show you how to use that. So let's start off by creating uh, Control N. I'm gonna create a new comp. I'm gonna call it Voxel Logo. Um, full HD. Let's create that. And let's uh, let's type down something with the editable text. So I'm gonna type down track code here using uh, one of the most common fonts uh, it's uh, Helvetica and uh, let's create a new layer and this one will be our Tau solid so uh, control Y to create a new solid and uh, make sure it's the comp size let's click OK let's bring it underneath our text and let's apply the Tau effect to that. Alright, uh, so by default it can't see uh, the text here and it's generating an automatically generated path. We can shut that off here and uh, we need for this to work we need that to become a mask and to be applied on this layer here on which Tau is. So uh, let's do that. We have an option here under uh, the layer menu and we can create uh, masks from text so let's do that and as we do that it'll it'll disable our editable text layer here and uh, we can simply get rid of it now unfortunately this is not uh, editable so you'll have to uh, type down the right text and then transforming it into uh, shapes like uh, create outlines in Illustrator for example so it's not you you're not able to type down uh, anymore but 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 if I hit M here I have uh, all my masks here I'm gonna simply uh, select them all and uh, copy them and then I can shut this off and uh, I'm gonna paste it here on my uh, uh, Tau solid so by default here that's what we have and um, that's uh, where we're gonna start so first uh, let's uh, not use extrude and guns let's repeat and guns we're gonna repeat some little cubes here so uh, we want them to have four sides and we're gonna turn off the chamfer for uh, for the beginning and uh, as you can see nothing looks as it should uh, because everything is uh, angled uh, in some kind of weird way and uh, if we uncheck that everything gets straightened up and we can then reduce the size of our uh, little uh, squares here so what you're gonna notice at first is that the amount of segments is simply not uh, the same everywhere it's not uh, really uh, going to uh, get the same amount of squares everywhere so uh, <coughs> we're gonna generate this using light so we can have a little bit more control uh, for each one of our letters so for each of one of our paths we're gonna create a light and this light is gonna use the, this da the same data so let's create a new one and let's call it Tau and uh, let's copy our mask path here and let's paste that onto the position of our Tau light so that's gonna bring it here right on our on our light it's gonna create some keyframes and we're gonna have our T so let's do that for everything let's uh, create an another one call it Tau and uh, let's copy the path from here paste that here and uh, 
once again we have another pad here in uh, the center of our R here so let's uh, copy that let's create a new light and do that and so on and on I'm gonna probably speed this part up so see you in a few fast forwarded frames thing that we can do uh, right from the start is uh, set the auto orient to off on our lights and uh, if I had done this to the first one I wouldn't have to go in each to do it but now I forgot so I'm gonna have to go uh, transform auto orient and set each one of those to off individually Let's do that. Transform Motorian off. Transform Motorian off. Transform Motorian off. So now we can copy those. Where were we at now? We're done with this C, so let's get the O. that hit P cancel the keyframes and paste second part of the O Let's duplicate this P cancel that copy and the D oops I cut it get the mask pad from the D P cancel the position copy the second part of our D here, so duplicate, position, cancel, copy, paste, I mean, and the copy from the E, P, and the paste. Now for def by default, our um, tau duration when we're using the path from light is 10 seconds, so let's go to uh, 300 frames here and uh, let's uh, look at our keyframes here and uh, we need to bring the last one of each up to the frame 300 and it's gonna automatically uh, stretch out the roving keyframes in between so let's do that oops uh, can we do it while we have a few selected and uh, I'm not doing that because I'm kind of worried about not selecting the right uh, the right one. Is it, is it gonna work? Yeah, okay, so we can do that. Can we do it like this? So, yeah, let's do that. Alright. So now um, we can shut off the path from the mask, and then we have only what's coming from our lights now so it's a little uh, bit more evenly distributed that way all right because all our keyframes here are roving in time but yet it's still um, we're still gonna have to fix some of those manually because some of them have uh, less some parts have less voxels and some parts have more so um, <coughs> let's see how we're gonna do that to make it even everywhere. Let's get it in our segments and uh, let's decrease and let's look at how we want it and uh, let's add a little bit of uh, 
no, first let's let's arrange arrange those so uh, so let's first set this number here accordingly to uh, the letter which has the less voxels in it so the more space in between so we can take for example this C and this one and let's bring this number up until uh, it has uh, the correct amount and then we'll uh, cancel that out the amount from each others and how we're gonna do that well now um, we need to attach each one of our tau lights to its own null because we want to be able to uh, change that but still have ten s whole 10 seconds of it being calculated as if it will get past the last keyframe and it will, it will continue to produce nothing so we can even out uh, our uh, segments here so let's do that and uh, let's create a new null and uh, we're gonna have to do it for each one so um, let's make it 3D and uh, let's reveal its position here and let's make sure that this has the same position as uh, our light on the first frame here so uh, this is where it's at let's look at it so here's our light here's our null it's the same spot so we're gonna grab uh, our keyframes here and uh, copy that onto the null All right and uh, you'll see why. So now uh, we can delete those keyframes here and simply attach this to uh, our null. So now it's not our light that is keyframed here for uh, the, the geometry uh, generation, but it's our null. That means that I can now um, stretch that out no it's not exactly what I want I can stretch that this way yeah so it'll have less um, less amount of uh, squares here so we can even them out so the T let's say that uh, we have about that many and uh, we can do that for each now So let's angle them. Let's get in the rotation X and set those to uh, 35 degrees, or uh, depending on what you're aiming at, something like that. Maybe only on the Y and on the Z. So that makes ourselves uh, some kind of uh, angled uh, rectangles here and uh, we can then scale them back to uh, some cubic proportions by uh, changing the Z value here so we have almost like uh, tiny cubes alright so we can mess around with that and then force refresh control alt front slash to uh, change the amount of uh, voxels we have in our letter T. So let's stretch this out and we'll have more. Bring it this way and we'll have less. So that's why we need uh, an intermediate null to do that. If we were to do it with these keyframes on the light, then we would have a last keyframe at frame one, 188 here and uh, nothing after that would calculate. But we need, uh, we needed we need this slide to have no keyframes at all but still we need to have manual keyframes on the null on which it's dashed to alright so next the R is pretty much okay so we don't need to mess around with it only the top part of the R which is the second light here so we're gonna do the same on here I'm gonna create a new null and I'm gonna bring it right here and uh, I'm gonna make it 3D and I'm gonna give it uh, the position of the lights uh, on the frame zero here so X is that 
y is that and we can leave the other one at zero now that we've done that we can uh, cut control x the keyframes from here and paste them there and uh, simply attach our, attach our light here so I'm gonna force refresh nothing should change we should have uh, that many uh, voxels here in our part from the R but if we bring this one closer here and uh, oh I'm not on the right one am I I'm on the A here <laughs> so let's bring it back here and let's see we want a little bit less so we can drag this up here so this will also allow us to uh, have it looping around no matter how many uh, segments we have in each of these difference but we at actually you have the exact same amount of segments in each one but uh, they are getting uh, drawn upon different durations of our generation here so will that will help us uh, still get our loop point correct no matter how many uh, difference we have visually on the on our segments but not in reality actually we have the same amount of segments on everything and that's important um, so let's uh, pinpoint where is uh, this one so this this is our light that I wanted to use so I guess get back on frame zero I'm doing that by hitting home the home key on my keyboard so let's hit P to reveal the position create a new null bring it right here make that 3d and uh, reveal the position I'm gonna copy uh, the position from the first frame of my light here onto that null just so I can then cut these keyframes here and paste them there and then simply attach uh, this light here alright so now I can uh, drag this towards the left and uh, I'll lose some uh, some of those squares here in terms of quantity in uh, in there so it's quite reduced all right and uh, I'm sorry if it's gonna maybe get a little tedious that's why I only wanted to use a word that has uh, three letters but people might say then uh, yeah but it's good only on three letters but what if I have many well you just have a little bit more work to do a little bit more cust uh, manual uh, adjustments but uh, no worries guys it's gonna f it's gonna work pretty fine so where uh, n I think the a is okay now the whole uh, the the a hole um, uh, this needs to have less so let's create ourselves some null here and uh, do the same process copy that oh make sure it's 3d copy that here these uh, the data and I'm not copying everything because I don't want to copy the frame yet I want now that uh, that this doesn't have any keyframe and that it's attached now it's at zero here now I, I'm pasting the frames and we have what we uh, want and I simply bring this back up to get less of an amount in here so actually doing it and let's do the same uh, for the P and let's leave that like that for this one let's uh, change only for the P hole the A hole and the P hole huh? it sounds a little bit immature don't you think no worries no worries it's all serious stuff here so um, I'm gonna grab the position from my uh, this here uh, I'm gonna make my null 3d hit P copy the position data on here and then cut my position keyframe here attach this to that and paste that here and then I can bring this back I think you start you're starting to understand the principle but let's continue on with those and then the O let's uh, keep the same amount on the exterior but let's uh, reduce it a little bit here so uh, if you're not sure like you can make it a different color so you can pinpoint it more easily so let's make it 3d here um, grab the position from the first frame here copy it onto there 
cut that control X paste that here and don't forget to attach the light now just bring them over there and we're getting close we're getting close we only need to do it on a couple of letters only I'm gonna save this all right and um, which one is this one Control shift h to reveal and hide the uh, layer controls there so this one let's leave it like that and let's create a null for the no number seven copy the position from the first frame of our light uh, make sure that it's our light here that we're getting so that, that 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 copy that paste that here then we can cut those paste those here drag that over here and bring that down a little bit to lose some squares and the e is all in itself uh, already uh, pretty much like we want it hmm. it's not exactly fine but still we know that we can uh, spend a little bit more time to uh, adjust those uh, the important thing that we know is that we can do those adjustment of course so uh, maybe now we can add a little bit more rotation on the angle so it's facing us a little bit more so 45 half of a uh, of 90 degrees so um, let's keep it like that for the moment so we have many layers here now we can perhaps we can hide those uh, temporarily so uh, we can select all that and uh, activate the shy on them and then we can simply hide them and uh, reveal them by clicking on this guy here I'm not sure if it's Humpty Dumpty but looks like it and then um, next we're gonna uh, make a we're gonna put some uh, motion in there so um, let's uh, let's set up our offset here so what would I do as a first reflex uh, since I wanted to loop I would click loop offset and then I would make a keyframe here at frame 0 and go to the frame where I want my loop so let's say frame uh, 30 and uh, I would put this to 100 and then get one frame back and then I would say I have my loop so let's try that I'm gonna play it back and nothing is happening uh, so I have to check offset position here and uh, make sure that offset size isn't checked so here we have something that quite loops so that's pretty good no matter how many uh, segments we have let's add more and uh, yeah it will work no no matter how many segments that we have but the thing is that it might get a little bit too fast for your taste and uh, actually we don't need to make it loop and uh, there's another way that we can do it another math that we can use that is uh, I think a little bit more efficient I'm, I'm not really able to uh, show you this thing uh, so if I had like it goes really fast and we don't need it to go all the way to 100% actually we just need like this voxel to move its way up to this voxels and th this voxel so let's turn off the loop offset here and uh, it's uh, a good habit is to make a marker here sh shift one on the first frame 
of your loop and let's get to the last frame frame 30 and let's hit shift 3 to make a marker so now we don't have uh, the same result here we're supposed to get the the same frame here so now we have it looping 0 100 it's the same okay so um if this is not checked of course it's not looping because we're losing our segment so we don't want this to go all the way up to 100 uh, let's uh, say that this value here on the last keyframe for our offset instead of 100 let's say it's 100 divided by the amount of segments that we have so in this case 100 divided by 34 what that will do is instead of uh, making it very crazy it's only gonna like do the motion uh, in between uh, some of some of them are not moving though which I find quite annoying let's refresh that some of them are not moving so let's try and even try an odd amount so once again I don't know if that's a general rule but it always seems to have its implication but if I have a uh, an even number here I'm not getting exactly uh, the same thing and some of those will like stay static in here but if I put an odd amount here uh, it should be okay so I'm gonna force refresh it just to make sure and I'm gonna test it uh, we still have those that won't move huh? not sure why not sure why uh, this is probably due to uh, the fact that they are still emitted after uh, being there so that's why we need the uh, why the, why why doesn't doesn't it not want to move let's, let's hit loop offset check on that some so some of those aren't moving and they seem to be the ones that uh, we reduced the area so if we had different amount of segments like we could like keep all those uh, stretched out on uh, to the frame 300 but and uh, like hard code different amount of segments here to even out but this will make it so it doesn't work for our offset uh, since we can't divide uh, 100 by like it has to be the same segment value so um, let's divide it like 100 divided by 35 so it's not the exact same so it's like 100 divided by uh, the value just before the the odd number that you put so if it's uh, like uh, 37 then it's 100 divided by 36 here all right so is that the yeah if I go here I go here is the same and if I move along so we have these that are not moving and uh, can we get can we get rid of those let's uh, let's uh, enable size from radius and uh, what if each one we're gonna try it with uh, let's try that with the T first so there what happens if we put a keyframe here for 
radius and then it's going to zero so now we don't have any uh, oh it's it's gonna stop here and it's gonna continue well and let's move that one one frame back yeah it's gonna it's gonna stop there that's kind of annoying and when I do that it's always always there so yeah it's not entirely perfect just notice something and I didn't prior to that so let's uh, let's try to uh, add this combo here 100 and the next is at zero uh, on each of those that we made a null here and uh, let's uh, go here and let's paste that so it's the uh, radius here all right so here on the, on the next frame it's zero and uh, let's do that everywhere we've got uh, some reduced roving keyframes here so uh, we can just paste it here on our lights and it it'll be there no worries so the only thing we have to make sure is that we are uh, at the right frame here so right there and uh, here it's right there so let's paste that here and right here we're gonna go up to there so I'm selecting the light below and pasting and uh, this one here right there so let's do that and let's force refresh and now our voxels that are still will well just stop here for a moment and it's not fix fixing that at all isn't it oh well that's a bummer anyway and so let's uh, uh, let's increase the amount of segments here Let's increase their scale. think that uh, the P can still have uh, pretty much less uh, segments than that so let's get at the first frame I'm gonna create a new solid and which which one is the P it's this one this one right here so let's get uh, our position data here There. So now, uh, how many segments do we have? 40? Let's put 41. And uh, this value must change to 100. 
divided by 41. It's not the exact same frame. But it works in terms of looping, and it's perhaps 100 divided by 40. So this value minus 1, so 1, 3, yeah. Now they're exactly the same. And that nothing seems to get stuck now. All right, I'm not sure s if all that I did uh, was actually meaningful seems that we have some that are uh, static still it looks fine if you want to get less perspective in here because it seems that isometric uh, view for this is uh, working better because you see now with the angle we we gave them uh, the e they're all like turned up all the way so let's create a new camera and uh, let's make it like 135 millimeters and let's refresh that how can we get the same thing I'm not sure so new camera 100 all right let's refresh okay so um, that's too much let's delete that let's create a new camera 135 so I'm gonna force refresh and that's kind of weird 50 hmm what okay new camera 50 millimeters refresh I'm gonna hit control shift Y to get in the options uh, for the camera and then uh, change the angle of view so I get very close and then I'm gonna pull back and I'm gonna lose everything so I'll need to get down to the visibility and make sure that this is further enough I don't think this, this will be the right one so I might be the contrary focus this so This will increase the perspective and this will cancel it down. Nah, I don't think that it matters that much. So let's remove our camera and uh, let's set their angle down to zero and zero. So just choose the angle that fits best according to your taste. And uh, if we want to add some color in there, let's hit AA on one of our lights and uh, let's make it red and I'm gonna simply copy that on all our lights and if I want to select all the lights at once I know that uh, I have this color code for it so um, I'm gonna select the label group and uh, add the brown one to there and I'm gonna paste the color so I have it everywhere and uh, Let's um, let's 
create an adjustment layer on top of all that and let's create a background solid which we're gonna bring underneath everything and uh, let's simply add a ramp here and uh, let's make it some kind of a dark blue and uh, let's grab something a little bit brighter on here and let's make it a radial and uh, let's bring our light point here on the top here so it comes this way and uh, let's add a curves to that the contrasts and um, let's go ahead and get in the visibility op options here down there and let's grab the color from our background and let's find where is our uh, depth point so let's bring those down until we get it more of the color in there so there we go and as we get further back we want to have just a, a little bleed so not very much a difference between both these numbers here just to make sure that uh, and of course the second one has to be higher so here I'm getting just a little bit coming in it's gonna help out uh, have it a little bit more and uh, integrated there it's gonna bring in a little bit of the background color into our own colors here so not too much just just a little bit depending on uh, what you're after exactly but uh, don't overdo this it's just a touch just a touch there and uh, let's add a layer on top of that and let's make a shape like a cone and uh, I want to have nothing selected so now I have this layer selected it's not good I'm gonna hit undo and I'm gonna click here like make sure that I don't have anything selected and I'm gonna do that like create a, some kind of cone shape here and uh, I'm holding alt here to uh, mess around with that and I'm gonna add a fast blur to that and uh, where's my shape layer here let's increase that and uh, let's set it to add and uh, maybe we can also bring the project to 32 bits per channel and uh, let's reduce the size of that and let's bring it towards the left here and it's just gonna blend uh, some of the with, with brighter colors for and it's gonna simulate uh, some light coming in from this side and then we can grab this and uh, make another one down here and let's see here's our shape, we can rotate it and uh, bring this depending on what, what kind of uh, lighting you want to bring to this uh, this uh, title here and uh, of course it can be uh, different colors, try a warm color on the on the right size here alright and uh, let's check back our general curves now and uh, we can perhaps darken this a little bit or I don't know depending on what you want to get so that's that looks pretty fine and uh, <coughs> let's go ahead and reduce the amount of uh, of um, segments in our D part here and on our O I 
still feel there's too much. It's not even. It has to be even, at least seem even with the rest of all of them. So I'm going to try to find them. Uh, where are you, little light? This one. So let's create a new null. And uh, so not this one, this one. I'm to the point that where I want it to be uh, orange, so I can miss it here. Position. Make sure that this one does that there. And then cut that that based th that so we can simply bring that closer and uh, reduce uh, the amount of uh, voxels we have in here and let's do the same for the D so where is our D there it is let's add our null and uh, Make it 3D, hit P, check the position, make sure our first frame has the same data our light has on the first frame. Cut the position, paste it here, make sure they're both connected, and uh, drag this towards the left to reduce the amount of voxels. And uh, we might need to uh, reduce it on the one inside as well. So let's do that. Bam. So there we have it. A nice way to uh, almost procedurally a little bit there are some steps here but this thing was, will always loop and uh, we can at least have uh, some way to make sure that uh, the amount of segments are evened out without messing around our loop principle so uh, let's uh, see uh, what we can do now simply for uh, if we want to test other things now we can but I will stop this tutorial here I've been talking for uh, way too long let's make them repeat sphere instead and let's uh, make sure that they're all proportional here and let's add the uh, amount of sides so automatically we can turn it into something like that mm, that will work so depending on uh, the type of effect you want to achieve uh, this might be the way or or, or not and uh, what is also cool with uh, that uh, technique is that it allows us to uh, make a loop that doesn't output that many frames I mean we can make it only 10 frames this thing and uh, let's bring this over here and let's get to frame 9 and if I run this like it's this is only 9 frames so think about how light your gifts can be for uh, uploading to social networks and stuff like that so that's uh, one other advantage of using uh, that technique and one other thing as well is uh, let's set those back to uh, repeat and guns and then uh, let's make the sides four again and uh, perhaps uh, this rotate Z you want to set it at zero and this one rotate X at uh, 35 so we have this kind of an angle and uh, if you really have trouble with those like which are uh, not moving the squares like let's take for example the the D where's that D this one here like I had to push it here so uh, if it for some reason if don't put it here like make sure that this radius 100 radius 0 so the one that 0 is uh, uh, here right underneath the one that is uh, the last keyframe of our movement that's creating the shape
for the null. So one thing that you can do if it uh, let's let's try that. So there's this square here it doesn't move. It's kind of stuck there. So uh, in this case, we can maybe try to either push this in here. So let's force refresh and let's play it back again. So now it doesn't. It's not stuck there, and it might have to. It now you might have to recheck those if you change the amount of segments, but general it should work. Let's try 33. And of course, uh, if we reduce, then we also don't forget to uh, change the formula here. So this last frame here is uh, going to be 100 divided by 33. And let's refresh. So that the, our, our loop seems to work now with any uh, amount of segments as long as this uh, last keyframe here is uh, 100 divided by the number of segments or divided by the number of segments minus 1. So here we've got the, the hole in the P here, maybe this square it looks stuck there. So let's find out where it is. It's this one here. Let's look at the keyframes for the uh, radius for the light. Let's offset them one to the left and let's recheck that. And it seems to have fixed or at least Like you'll have to uh, rearrange that, but uh, most of the time it won't be that noticeable when you look at it as a whole, and uh, it will uh, work for uh, looping. If you have anything to say about it, leave it in the comments. I'd be more than curious to see what you have to uh, say about it and what you can come up with using uh, that technique, or if you have. Uh, any other uh, additional info that you would uh, think is useful for other users uh, trying to uh, use trap code Tao with uh, titles or uh, shapes well uh, simply drop that in a comment and uh, as always thank you very much for watching see you next time